You, young lady in the green shirt and gray skirt, who are you? And what is your name? My name is Jocelyn. What are your names? My name is Tracy. It's nice to meet you. My name is Jack. It's nice to meet you, Jocelyn. And my name is Jared. It's nice to meet you as well. I'm glad that I get to meet some new people. Can we be friends? Yes. 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 Good. Now let's go to class. Good morning, class. Today we're going to be doing language arts. Jenny, what is the definition of phrase? An expression consisting of one or more words. That's correct. Carrie, what's the definition of adverb? A word that modifies something other than a noun. Correct. Jocelyn, what's the definition of allegory? The answer is a pussy. Excuse me? You heard me. I said go fuck yourself in the pussy. Jocelyn, you don't use that kind of language in here. What's the big deal? The answer is go fuck yourself in the pussy. Jocelyn, you can't be saying cuss words in here. Carrie, shut the fuck up and mind your own business. Hey, don't talk to her like that. Jenny. If you don't shut the fuck up and mind your own business, I'm going to assault you with a spiked bat. So you can bleed in pain. Hey. You don't threaten to assault someone with a spiked bat, Carrie. Shut the fuck up and mind your own business. Hey. Don't talk to her like that. If you want an argument, then go ahead. Bring it on. Jenny. If you don't shut the hell up in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to fuck you right in the pussy. Hey. You don't talk to a girl like that? Shut the hell up, Jenny. Jared can talk to you any way he wants. Tracy, you're so fat that you couldn't fit through the door. If I were you, I would stop eating too much Burger King. Yeah. You tell him, Carrie. Jenny, says the girl that got in trouble in the past. You lashed out on Rick Animate 2007. You disrespected someone's funeral. Started the fuckery. You cursed at your father over McDonald's. Trying to frame Rick. Assaulted Jared. And countless other stuff that you did in the past. Hey! Don't start bringing up my past. Second of all, Jared deserved it. Because he killed Alex. Third of all, don't bring up my past. Shut the fuck up, Jenny. Jocelyn and Jack can bring up your past. Whenever they want to. So shut the fuck up and deal with it. Jack, leave Jenny alone. She improved her behavior. If you don't stop all of this fuckery at once, I'm going to lose my shit. Carrie and Jenny, if you don't shut the fuck up in the next 10 seconds, we're going to beat the living daylights out of you, Jenny and Carrie, on December 15th, March 31st, April 15th, July 19th, December 13th, August 29th, June 26th, July 7th, June 2nd, and December 12th. Hey! You can't just choose a random day when you want to beat the living daylights out of me and Carrie. You either do it today or tomorrow. Well, too bad. You have to shut up and deal with it. Yeah. I agree with Jack. You need to wait and be patient. He can choose whatever day he wants to beat the living daylights out of you. Carrie, you're so old that you have gray hair on your head. Your mama is so fat and obese that she couldn't fit through the door because she eats too much McDonald's every day. Jocelyn, you need to have some manners. First of all, you don't call me an old lady. I'm only 16 years old. Second of all, how dare you talk about my mother like that? Jenny, Jared, Tracy, Jack and I are going to beat the living daylights out of you and Carrie. Jocelyn, Jared. Tracy and Jack. Where in the name of Chuck E. Cheese's did you get the baseball bat from? That's none of your business. Excuse me. You heard Jenny. How in the name of Chuck E. Cheese's did you get those baseball bats from? Carrie. What did we tell you earlier? That's none of your business. Well? If you want to start a baseball bat fight, then bring it on. <laughs> Oh, my God.
Okay. That's enough. All of you. You'll be serving seven hours of after school detention from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. Oh no. We're screwed. That's right. You guys are so screwed. You'll be serving seven hours of detention from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. As for you, Jocelyn, Jared, Tracy and Jack, for starting an argument. Starting a baseball bat fight you'll have additional punishments. Like two weeks of suspension. Four weeks of Saturday school. Lunch detention for two months. 24 hours of community service. And doing a 100 pages of homework. Great. Nice job. Jocelyn. Jared. Tracy and Jack. Now I have to give up my evening. Thanks to the four of you. Now we're screwed. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Jocelyn. Jared. Tracy. And Jack. Now my evening is ruined because of you four decided to start a fuckery. Way to go. Now we're screwed. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Jenny. Now I won't be able to have free time because of your stupidity. Way to go. Now. We're screwed. Yeah. Jared is right. Now. We're screwed. Because of you. Jeannie and Carrie. This is all your fault. For starting the chaos. Yeah. I agree with Tracy and Jared. Now we're screwed. Because of you. Jenny and Carrie. Way to go. Yeah. You tell them Jack. Great. Now I have to give up my evening. Thanks to you. Jenny and Carrie. If you two kept your mouths shut. None of this would have happened. Now. We're screwed. Alright. I've heard enough. Since it's 4 p.m. You'll be going to the detention room. Go. Right now. Put the baseball bats away. Welcome to detention. I know why you're all here. Because of Jocelyn. Started the argument. Created a fuckery and started the chaos. Jard. Tracy. And Jack. Since you got yourselves involved in that fuckery and chaos. Jocelyn. You be doing a 300 page essay. For starting the whole fiasco. As for you. Tracy. Jard. And Jack. For getting yourselves involved in the fiasco. You be doing a 200 page essay. And you will be doing another 25 word page essay. For acknowledging Jocelyn's argument. Chaos and fiasco. Carrie and Jenny. Since you got yourselves involved in that fiasco, you be doing a 25-page essay, now. Start writing. Okay. Now that you're done with your essays, Carrie and Jenny, you may go home now. But I'm still calling your parents and telling them what you did. Go home now. As for the four of you, before you go home, you need to go see the principal. Go to the principal's office. Now. Well, 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 look what we have here, four students, in my office at night, you fucking shit. I heard everything that happened in Mr. Jackson's class. Jocelyn, I can't believe you started the argument, started the fuckery, and started the whole fiasco. Jared, Tracy and Jack, since you got yourselves involved in the argument, you'll be suspended for two weeks. Get out of my office right now, you fucking shit. As for you, Jocelyn, you'll be suspended for two months for hitting some of the students with the baseball bat and starting the whole fiasco. Now, get out of my office, you fucking shit. <laughs> Jenny, what in the name of Chuck E. Cheese's is wrong with you? How dare you get involved in the fiasco and hit four students with the baseball bat? Why did you do it? It's because of Jocelyn, Jared, Tracy and Jack started it. 
They keep cussing at Mr. Jackson. They hit me with the baseball bat. That's why I had to do it. Well, that's not an excuse to get involved. You're grounded for two weeks. No TV. No video games. No computer. No church. No women's group. No young adults group. No phone. No restaurants and no fun. Now go upstairs to your room now. Carry. What in the name of Chuck E. Cheeses is wrong with you? Really? Getting yourself involved in the argument, and then hitting the four students with the baseball bat. Why did you do it? Because of Jocelyn, Tracy, Jared and Jack cursed at the teacher, insulted Jenny. I'm trying to protect her. They started it. So that's why. I know you're trying to protect Jenny, but getting involved in hitting the students with the baseball bat. No. A few wrongs don't make a right. That's it. You're grounded for two weeks. No TV. No video games. No computer. No church. No women's group. No young adults group. No phone. No restaurants. No shopping at the mall. And no fun. Now go upstairs to your room now. Jack, what in the name of Chuck E. Cheese is wrong with you? Really? Why would you get involved in the fiasco, hit two students with a baseball bat, and talked back to the teacher? That's it. You're grounded for two months. No TV, no video games, no computer, no church, no men's group, no young adults group, no phone, no restaurants, and no fun. Now go upstairs to your room now. Why? <laughs> How dare you get involved in the argument? Creating a chaos. Hit some of the students with the baseball bat. And talk back to the teacher. That's it. You're grounded for two months. No TV. No video games. No computer. No church. No men's group. No young adults group. No phone. No restaurants. And no fun. Now go upstairs to your room now. Why a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a that's it. You're grounded for two months. No TV. No video games. No computer. No church. No women's group. No young adults group. No phone. No restaurants. And no fun. Now go upstairs to your room now. Jocelyn. Really? Are you out of your mind? What in the name of Chuck E. Cheese's is your problem? How dare you started the argument in class? Hit the students with a baseball bat? Caused a chaos in class? And then talk back to the teacher? That's it you're grounded for four months. No TV. No video games. No computer. No church. No women's group. No young adults group. No restaurants. No phone. No shopping at the mall. And no fun. Now go upstairs to your room now.